So you may have just picked up your iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, and you might be trying to figure out how to use that LiDAR sensor that's right there. Now, this is kind of an interesting thing because the LiDAR sensor isn't really a camera sensor per se. It's actually just a little thing that can actually help the camera see your, basically your environment, see your area. So essentially what this sensor does is basically for different applications that use things within that AR, you know, VR kind of landscape, it can actually help kind of allow it to basically get more accurate readings. So I'll give you an example, right? Within your specific iPhone, you have a few different applications that already utilize this specific type of capability. So one of these types of features is like the measure application. So if you go inside of your iPhone settings and if you click on measure, this specific application will actually give you a little bit more accurate readings from an iPhone that has the LiDAR sensor. Now it's still not 100% accurate as you can see, it's kind of all over the place. But basically, if you have, you know, these types of applications, like, you know, this one right here, the measure application, it will automatically use that LiDAR sensor because it is just far more accurate than just depicting things through the camera. Now, that's one example. These types of applications are all over the place. And even some apps that you may not even realize have that type of capability. Now, another one is actually within Apple's own you know, website. So if we actually make our way over to Apple's website, we can see that we have this little option right here that says view in AR. So if you purchase an iPhone or whatever, you can just click view in AR. This is another, you know, application that actually uses that specific, you know, LiDAR sensor. So what it'll do now is it'll go ahead and kind of see as good as it can, basically where that specific, you know, iPhone should be placed. If I go and kind of, you know, adjust it a little bit, maybe it'll give it a better reading. I don't even know why it's taking so long now, but that's another option that you have. So I can click, as you can see, there you go. It kind of, you know, finally took it, but now I can go and place it and you can see it you know, intelligently figured out exactly where to put it. It knew that this table wasn't the best place to put it and it knew that windowsill actually was. So now if I go and go through, I can actually view this specific iPhone like this. I can go ahead and zoom in and I can view it even better. And although this isn't 100% due to the LiDAR sensor, it is actually, a lot of it is, you know, it's a lot more accurate because of that sensor. So if you're somebody who wants to go ahead and start using that LiDAR sensor on the back of your iPhone, the main way to do it is by using those types of AR or VR applications or tools that will basically allow it. So that is basically how to use it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.